I live on Church Street in Higham. It's part of the North Kent Marshes. It's very flat land. And it's flat land that is my passion, or should I say one of my passions. Collaging is something that is very close to my heart. It started with an art course, uh, which allowed me to experiment and play with charcoal and pencil and photography. Through that, I stumbled into ripping up magazines. And being a rock climber, I had lots of magazines and I soon found that ripping rock climbing magazines were perfect to make the landscapes from where I live. Through that I went further afield and started doing other landscapes of when I first went climbing and set up the ropes and the first person will go and start climbing and you're waiting. You start the climb and you have to complete it and you're getting higher and higher. You start looking around you and looking at the height that you're at and you're looking at the, the rocks and the sky and the sea. These are the things that excited me and in the same way when I would go out canoeing on the Medway and the River Thames, you'd be out on very, very flat water. You'd be skimming along the top of the water and then the wind would pick up and then you'd be fighting to move. Again, you would see things that you don't see when you're walking along the road. You'll see birds and seals. All these things had strong impression on me. But when I started working creatively, all these things came to bear on the work that I'm doing now. I stumbled into collaging. I had no intention. I was happily drawing and painting. And I started messing about with paper. It felt good. It felt tangible. This is how I started making pictures from magazines, from rock climbing magazines. The textures and colours that you find are exactly what I need to create the landscapes that I create. There are so many different ways to make collage. Uh, you can rip them, which is one of the best ways of doing it. This gives a lovely rough edge. So if you're making a rough sky, I will rip and make lots of small pieces, nice long strips, little pieces. Also, I use scissors. Scissors are great. They give a very nice clear cut. So if I'm, if I'm making uh, the River Thames, when it's really, really smooth, I cut and make it silky. It's very exciting making a collage. When you've got the picture in front of you that you've taken, you've been out there and you've sketched the picture and you come back to the studio and you're looking through my boxes. I have boxes of different textures and colours that I use. I'll go through them and find exactly what I need to make the picture. I had a communication from a lady who works in mine in Gravesend and they were interested in using my work for a new project they were doing called Made in Kent, which is a, a shop that sells work of local artists. Now, I was very excited when I got this email. And then a few months later, my uh, Made in Kent opened. It's an amazing shop that sells local work of artists. And they promote 
our work and sell it. It's, I believe it's the first place, first charity shop that has done this. Mm -hmm.